actually it's returned to normality quite quickly. I mean, where I'm sat at the moment, there's some people playing basketball. Um, they all seem very calm. Most the tourists are more shaken than the locals. Um, there's large groups of tourists wandering around. Everyone's a little bit lost because we've all been pushed away from the normal uh, thoroughfares where, where the tourists are going to walk. Um, so lots of people are trying to figure out how to navigate the back streets to get back to where, they, where they're going. Um, lots of, everyone's kind of nervous. There's lots of people on phones, lots of people standing at street corners, trying to talk to the police. Police are moving people away very, very quickly. They're obviously very, very concerned about secondary attacks and that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it, you know you can't you can't move anywhere near Los Ramblas. There's, there's, I think it's probably two or three streets away um, before you know there's, there's a kind of a cordon. Um, we were, as we were walking out of the um, the market area, an ambulance went past us, um, and that had its sirens going. So obviously that was taking somebody who was injured. Uh, we had heard a rumour that the terrorist was shot. Uh, we also heard a rumour that it was one person who got out the van. And, and they were they were kind of running through the market with the rumour that we heard, and what I saw from the police seemed to back that up. But again, these are all just it's just what we've heard from people since. There's nothing that I can say definite. Of course, um, about that. Well, Steve, we appreciate you talking to us, uh, and do take care, Steve Garrett, who uh, was caught up in the events in. Barcelona unfolding this afternoon. Uh, we're seeing a statement from the Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, uh, who says he's in contact with all the authorities after the Barcelona van crash. He says the priority is to attend to the injured. So that from the Spanish Prime Minister. Uh, we haven't got precise numbers on the number of people who have been hurt in this crash. Uh, some reports suggesting around six, possibly more, and uh, no information on the condition of those uh, injured, of course, yet you will uh, understand it's very early days. But uh, we are seeing that the police in Barcelona are confirming this as a terrorist incident, according to one news agency. Uh, our news correspondent... Andy Moore is with me now and also has been keeping a check on the information coming into us on the news agencies and, and on Twitter and so on. Andy, uh, just bring us up to date. Well, this is an attack, a terror attack, now confirmed by the police uh, in Las Ramblas in Barcelona. And people who know this street, it's the main street, a very busy tourist area, a pedestrian area. Uh, we have it from official police sources that a, a van, a white van, has run over several people. There are several people who have been wounded and injured. Uh, we heard that the driver of that van, according to some sources, had fled on foot, that he wasn't arrested. We're now getting separately reports of an incident in a restaurant where armed men, perhaps two armed men, have taken hostage, hostages and some sort of incident is on way, underway there. And in a sense, this is reminiscent of the attack on London Bridge, where the, the attack by a vehicle on pedestrians was only phase one of the attack. Uh, those attackers, we know, of course, went on to, to stab many people in the area of Borough Market. It seems in this incident, uh, the uh, attack with a van is only the first phase of the incident. Yes, absolutely, Andy. And as I was mentioning a little earlier, very much bears the hallmarks of other terrorist attacks around Europe with a vehicle being used in an area that is uh, hugely popular with tourists. We, we only have to think back of, of similar incidents like this and there have been far too many. Of, of course there have been the incidents in London, uh, on London Bridge, when, when several uh, 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 people were killed. Uh, sorry, that was on Westminster Bridge, that was the first incident. Then there was the incident on London Bridge, again uh, people were, were killed on the bridge by a vehicle and then uh, in the stabbings in Borough Market afterwards. Uh, there was a similar attack in Stockholm uh, with a, a, a vehicle. Several were killed there. Uh, there was the attack on the market in Berlin. Uh, a, a very large truck was used in that incident. And, of course, the incident in Nice where more than 80 people uh, were killed with a truck. In, on this occasion, the, the vehicle that was used uh, was a white van. Uh, I've had a look at some of the images. 
and it seems it belongs to a, a telecoms company of some sort. And the images that I've seen of the vehicle is it's, it's come to rest, uh, the, the front of the vehicle is damaged, and uh, you can see, unfortunately, casualties lying all around. OK, Andy, uh, thank you very much for that. So the Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy says that he is in contact with all the authorities after this incident in the centre of Barcelona, the popular uh, tourist part of the city uh, on Las Ramblas, where a van has ploughed into a crowd of people. It was a busy, a busy street on a sunny afternoon in the Spanish city when this van ploughed into the crowd. Police in Barcelona say they are dealing with a terrorist attack. They have confirmed this as a terrorist attack. Uh, meanwhile, reports are coming in that two armed men have entered a restaurant in another part of Barcelona. Uh, police are, are calling for all metro and train stations in the immediate vicinity to be shut down. Uh, Jane Hill will be here with the news at five and will keep you updated with all the latest developments. But from me, uh, goodbye, and here's the weather with Chris Fawkes.